Hey everyone, it's Lockhart QT here, and today we'll be looking into another Mass Effect 5 theory video regarding the Mass Effect 3 post credit scene. This video, by the way, will obviously cover spoilers for pretty much some of the Mass Effect trilogy, including the end of Mass Effect 3, obviously, as well as a little bit of Mass Effect Andromeda. So if you don't want any spoilers, here's your chance to click away now, or play those games and come back here. By the way, if my voice currently sounds a bit funny, I currently have a slight cold, so I really apologise about that. Um, which, you know, you know what that means, boys? It's time for a cheeky bit of the Lem Sip and Hot Water Bottle combo. But anyway, let's get into this theory. So during Mass Effect 3's post credit scene, we get this. Did that all really happen? Yes, but some of the details have been lost in time. It all happened so very long ago. When can I go to the stars? One day, my sweet. What will be there? Anything you can imagine. Our galaxy has billions of stars. Each of those stars could have many worlds. Every world could be home to a different form of life. And every life is a special story of its own. Tell me another story about the shepherd. It's getting late, but okay. One more story. For those who have no idea what's going on here, well, after saving the galaxy or potentially leaving it to ruin at the end of Mass Effect 3, we get a scene at the end with two characters called the Stargazer and the Child, with the Child asking the Stargazer about what it's like out there in the galaxy, with this line in particular sparking loads of Mass Effect 5 theories going forward. Tell me another story about the Shepherd. It's getting late, but okay, one more story. Now in terms of this scene's very significance, well it's obvious to say that at this time in development, Bioware may have been referring to the fact that they were cooking up another Mass Effect with Mass Effect Andromeda, as at that time Mass Effect 3 was doing really well and the brand in itself was a lot bigger than it is now which obviously was the next main instalment in the series, which was Mass Effect Andromeda, which at the time was actually internally referred to as Mass Effect 4. But since Bioware re-released the legendary edition of the original Mass Effect trilogy, after revealing that they're making a new Mass Effect game back in 2020 at the Game Awards, well, this line becomes even more interesting, as Bioware could use this going into the next game, and we've had loads of evidence to support the fact that we will be potentially returning to the Milky Way in the next Mass Effect game, and we've even had a few things such as accidental posts on the Bioware gear store, as well as a rampant uptake in crossovers and Bioware gear store merchandise regarding Shepard, we could be seeing Commander Shepard returning for the next game. But I want you to stop and think a second. Imagine if the next Mass Effect game starts off with this scene, but it's been recreated or retold, with the Stargazer being pestered by the child to tell another story of the Shepherd, and the Stargazer reluctantly agreeing and then beginning a new story for the child. And then the game sort of the, 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 the scene rather cuts to black, and we then go straight into the next Mass Effect game. Also, doesn't the planet in this scene look very familiar? In the 2020 reveal trailer for the next Mass Effect game, we see Liara to Sony on an icy planet with moons in the background. As it's not been confirmed yet as of writing the script for this video, this planet could indeed be the same one from the scene with the Stargazer and the Child. At the moment, we don't know, but it's genuinely something to speculate about and talk about in the community. And if Bioware can announce this as soon as possible, that would be great, but only time will tell. As for this scene in general, well, the scene was originally present before the Citadel DLC and the Extended Cut DLC for Mass Effect 3. In the original ending of Mass Effect 3, the fate of the galaxy was a lot more ambiguous. 
the mass relays are shown to be far more seriously damaged. You don't really see the Normandy actually leaving the planet it crash lands on at the ending, and you don't get the narrated cutscene explaining what happens to the galaxy, the, you know, the slideshow at the end. Uh, this includes the refusal ending as well. So Bioware did actually go back a bit with the extended cut with this scene in particular, but I think they kept this scene in because A, they went to all the effort of obviously hiring, paying and getting Buzz Aldrin to voice the Stargazer which is a massive deal, and B, it still fits in from a storytelling and narrative perspective. Plus, at the time, if you guys remember, if you were around for it, Bioware were getting absolutely bent over and given it by the overall gaming community as well as hardcore Mass Effect fans because people weren't happy with the ending of Mass Effect 3, or the endings rather as in plural, because people were sending things like coloured cupcakes to their doors, they were sending the developers death threats, which if you were one of those people, that's not cool, and you need to seriously cut that out. And they, they were doing a lot more things and Bioware essentially with the sort of Citadel and Extended Cut DLC went into panic mode. This is obviously shown by the fact that they added the other post credit scene of Shepard drawing breath in the rubble. I personally don't think the scene is meant to depict the Stargazer giving a history lesson a few generations later to the child, I think it's hundreds of years in the future where Shepard has become more of a mythological figure if you will and their deeds or our deeds rather have become legendary. It's basically the equivalent of someone today telling a story about Leonardo da Vinci or Amelia Earhart for example, obviously both of those aren't on the same level as saving an entire galaxy but you catch my meaning here. In terms of this scene and this character coming back for the next Mass Effect game, well it's definitely in the range of possibility. Like I said earlier, I think it would be cool if the next game started off with a redone version of this scene, maybe with a different dialogue kickstarting our new adventure. Plus they could definitely get Buzz Aldrin back as long as he's you know still alive to shoot his lines, because I think as of recording this video I want to say he's in his 90s, I want to say Buzz Aldrin's 93. I, obviously he's very much still alive but I don't know on a personal level if he's currently you know wanting to or in a fit medical state to actually record lines to the next Mass Effect game. Uh, by the way if Buzz Aldrin is somehow watching this or if someone could pass this on to him I hope you're having a fantastic day and I hope you're in good health. Plus it would be another great little easter egg towards obviously the Apollo 11 moon landing as well as something that is astronomical and historical for the entire human race in going out into space and the galaxy which is what Mass Effect's all about and recreating this scene or at least maybe even re-adding it into the next game would be a clever way to tie the new game directly into the old trilogy it would be a sort of connecting bridge between the two with Mass Effect 3's ending and then going into Mass Effect 4 Mass Effect 5 or whatever it's going to be called. Plus, and probably the biggest connection here as well, is the fact that the audio from the Apollo 11 moon landing is indeed in the background of the Mass Effect 5 reveal trailer from 2020. Take a listen. So we could definitely see the Stargazer and this child returning to maybe tell one more story about the Shepherd. Again, we'll have to wait and see. Anyway everyone, thank you so much for making it to the end of this video, again I apologise for my voice, as I said I've currently got a sort of really bad cold, and tell me in the comments below what do you think about this theory, and for more Mass Effect content, Bioware content and gaming content in general, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. I hope you all have a fantastic day and goodbye.